Hey everyone, I want to welcome you in the kitchen with Cooking with the Woodards. Now, today we're going to be doing sausage oyster dressing. Okay, so I'm going to show you this way how I do this with sausage in it. All right, and I want you to hit subscribe, like, tell your friends about it, okay, because this week, all I'm doing is things for Thanksgiving. And I want y'all to take a look at it. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fixing appetizers, everything. I'm going to I'm gonna try to post something every day. Every day. So, hit subscribe, like, share with someone. Give me your feedback so I know just what you're thinking and everything, okay? So... This is what I have for the oyster, uh, sashi and oyster dressing. Okay, so this is everything I have. I, I was starting to cut up the cornbread because I did this one really thin, like, so I can have it. But we're going to have 10 cups of uh, cornbread, pre-cooked cornbread, okay, 10 cups. You're going to use one bell pepper, dice it up, a yellow onion. We have two, how many ounces is this? Two, eight ounce. You're going to need your two, eight ounce. You're going to need sage. You're going to need chicken broth, salt, hot sauce, two eggs, Jimmy Dean sausage. Now, if you see it, this is pork sausage, so... If you want to use a different type of sausage and you don't eat pork because of your religion, then change it. Okay? But make sure it has sage in it. I couldn't find it because they didn't have it. Okay? And we're going to use black pepper and celery. All right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on get all this up, cut up, measure off my cornbread mix and everything. Okay? And then I'll be back with you. Now, I have everything all cut up my onion my bell pepper and my celery this is a half a cup of bell pepper green bell pepper this is a cup of celery this is two cups of onion okay and i have me some sage right here i'm gonna dice that up really fine and what i'm getting ready to do now i'm getting ready to put my sausage on the stove and cook them. Make sure you keep an eye on the meat because you have to smash it up until it becomes in crumbs. Okay, don't leave them all big all up in there because you're supposed to keep this here smashed until it becomes like crummy. Like don't have big pieces like this up in there. Smash it. Get it on out of there. Smash it on up. Make sure you have no big pieces up in there. Okay? So, do it this way till it kind of browns some. And make sure you keep an eye on it. Okay? Okay, so now I don't let this cook enough. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this here. So, you remove all this here. Keep your grease in there because that's what you're going to need to use. Okay, so don't remove your grease. We'll remove everything else but your grease. Okay, remove all your meat and everything. Keep your grease. Okay, keep the grease. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put in our onion. Our bell pepper, our celery, and a spoon of minced garlic. One tablespoon of minced garlic. All right, so we got that going. 
So let me cut this here back on again because I didn't want my meat to burn up too much. So now I'm just going to let this here saute up in here. Okay. While this here saute it, I'll be back. Okay. So now we're going to add our other ingredients. So this is one tablespoon of sage that I diced up, all right? So let me use us one teaspoon of hot sauce. Okay, one teaspoon of hot sauce. Then we're gonna use a uh, one and a half teaspoon of salt. Then we're gonna use uh, some black pepper. We're only gonna use a, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, okay? Just a half of a teaspoon of black pepper. You can you can season this here to your taste. Once you get this here and you taste it, you season it up a little bit more. It's, it's whatever you want in there, you season it up a little bit more so we can have more of a taste to it, okay? So all we did is do the hot salt, black pepper, salt, and some more sage. All right, so now I'm going to mix this here on up in there. Give it about a good three minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead on and add it to everything over here. Okay? Okay, so now what we're getting ready to do, we're getting ready to put our mixture in. Okay? All our mixture is going to go in. all your mixture in that you made up put all that in okay all right so all that's going in okay then we're gonna put in the ground the, the sausage that's going in all right so you make sure you get all your stuff and you put it in. And then two cups of chicken broth, it's going in. Okay, two cups of chicken broth, it's going in. I might need a little bit more because there's a lot of cornbread mix. Okay, so I'm gonna know I'm gonna need me a little bit more. Okay, so that's going in. Okay, make sure I get it mixed up good up in here. Two more cups. Now make sure you preheat your oven. You have your oven on 350. Here. Now you put your two eggs in now.
Okay, so now we're going to add another egg in there. So there's two eggs you have in there, okay? Two eggs. Stir that on up. I'm going to add me one more teaspoon of black pepper because it needs a little bit more flavor to it. And I'm putting me in a half a cup of butter in now. Okay, I done added me one stick of butter in here. Okay. We have one stick of butter. Okay, so now I'm going to take the oysters and put the oysters in since I have everything together. And make sure there's no juice in these oysters. Okay? Make sure there's no juice. So, taking the, imping out the juice. I already had imped some of it out, but I guess it's a little bit more in there. Okay. So you put your oysters in, then you stir them on up in now, just like that, okay? It's two eight ounces, is that eight ounces? Yeah, two full eight ounces, okay? Now what we're getting ready to do now, we're going to spray this pan, okay? So I'm going to spray the pan. And this is going to go in here. Just like this. And I'm going to stick it in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay. Okay, got this here together. It's gonna go in now for 40 minutes. If you feel like you need any more seasonings or anything on it, do it. Do it, okay? Put whatever seasonings you want in there, all right? I'll be back when it's finished. Hi everybody, I'm back. The Sashi Oyster Dressing has finished. And it turned out wonderful. Just wonderful. You understand? It turned out. So, look at it. It turned out good, y'all. I mean, good. Good. I mean, good. I've been, t I've been tasting on it. You know what I mean? I had to taste it. But it turned out so good. 
Everything is just perfect. I hadn't made the gravy yet. But I'm going to make gravy to it. God, thank you for the food I'm about to receive. Amen. It don't need gravy. I'm not even going to tell you no lie. It don't need gravy. Mm. Mm. Lord Jesus. This is good. Mm. Thank you for making my hands while I can do this. Mmm. 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 This is so good. Gravy on top of it be excellent. Mmm. The flavor in it is the bomb. It's just right. You don't taste all that sage. You don't taste none of that. You understand me? This came out perfect. So, all I want to do is tell you to hit subscribe, like, share this video. Try this recipe. Do a dry run before all the holidays come up. And tell me what you think. Okay? All I want to tell you is, Bon appetit, baby, and give someone a big hug. Okay? Bye.